Hi, this is Mark Hooper, and I have a quick tip that will show you how to create an animated lower third template in Adobe After Effects for use in Adobe Premiere. When I need a lower third for my projects in Premiere, I always like to have a really nice animated one from Adobe After Effects. This quick tip is going to show you how to be able to make sure your lower third can be reusable with editable text. Starting After Effects, I have a file prepared that matches my Premiere sequence settings. This has three layers that I've animated already. Two layers of text that are labeled name and title of person, and the text inside on the composition matches with name of person and title of person. The third layer is a nested composition with an animated background. To make the composition text editable in Premiere, I simply need to make sure I have my composition settings set correctly. Going to the top menu, I'll click on Composition and choose Composition Settings, and then from there I'm going to select the Advanced tab. Now I'm going to check the option for Template, and the text will now be unlocked for editing in Premiere. I'll save my file, and then switch over to Adobe Premiere. This composition in Premiere is ready for lower third, so let me choose File, Adobe Dynamic Link, and then select Import After Effects Composition. I'll navigate to the After Effects file and then choose the composition in that file called Lower Third Template. The resource is listed in my project panel so I can simply duplicate it for the amount of lower thirds that I'm thinking I might need. Now I can name them. I'll click on the first one and press Enter to rename the resource and I'm just going to put my name in there, Mark Hooper. This doesn't update the animation. It's just listing my resource as the lower third for me. To edit the text in the animation, I'm going to double click on the resource and it's going to open up in the source monitor. Now I'm going to switch over to the effect controls and there you find the options to edit the text. I'm going to type my info and then return to the source monitor by clicking on the source monitor tab and then look below the source monitor preview and find a film strip icon. I'll drag that film strip icon down to my timeline where I want the lower third because I don't want audio, I just want video. I can then use the other duplicates that I have in the project panel for additional lower thirds that I might need using the same technique that I just showed you. And that is your quick tip for lower third templates in Premiere. For more information, visit us online.